Suspect for a weekend assassination attempt on Donald Trump waited nearly 12 hours undetected outside the former president's private golf course. Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Eager. Sheriff's investigators in Florida released body cam video of Ryan Wesley Ruth being arrested. Today, the FBI said it is trying to determine if he acted alone and how long he'd been in Florida. Ruth never had a line of sight on the former president, according to Secret Service. The agency's acting director said there was enhanced security following the first assassination attempt, and in this case, he says that plan worked. Fox 4's Sean Rabb is in the newsroom. Sean. Yeah, the plan worked even though Mr. Trump was not supposed to play golf Sunday and the golf course was not part of the security scheme. Body camera video shows the arrest of Ryan Wesley Roth by Martin County, Florida Sheriff's deputies about 45 minutes after he ran from the golf course with a Secret Service agent protecting the former president as he played, opened fire after seeing a person with a gun hiding in the trees along Trump's golf course. The 58-year-old is now charged with being a felon in possession of a firearm and possessing a weapon with an obliterated serial number, both federal charges. Federal prosecutors say Roth, a Ukraine sympathizer, was in the area near the golf course almost 12 hours before being discovered. As FBI evidence teams were scouring the area where Roth was hiding and where an AK-47 style rifle, two backpacks filled with ceramic tiles, and the GoPro camera were found, apparently left by Roth. FBI agents are trying to learn all they can about the suspect, talking with people who knew him, executing search warrants on his devices, trying to learn the man, his motives, and his movements. I think what we're finding out is not from this area, which of course raises the bigger question is, how does a guy from not here, get all the way to, Mar uh, to Trump International, realize that the president, former president of the United States is golfing and is able to get a rifle in that vicinity. I think that's the question the FBI, the Secret Service are, are, are laser focused on today. At an afternoon news conference, the acting Good Secret Service everybody. director explained why the golf course and public land around it had not been swept by agents. If this was an off the record movement. Uh, it wasn't a, a site that was on his scheduled, uh, it wasn't part of his schedule. So there was no posting up of it because he wasn't supposed to have gone there in the first place. This possible assassination attempt foiled by a Secret Service agent comes nine weeks after Mr. Trump was shot during an assassination attempt at a Pennsylvania campaign rally. That incident still being investigated by a congressional task force. Thank God the president's okay. I think we got a full report so far. We're down there tonight. But one thing I want to make clear, the service needs more help. And I think the Congress should respond to their needs if they, in fact, need more services. So that's what we're going to be talking about. But what was critical to this was the quick reaction, the response, the hypervigilance of the men and women of the United States Secret Service, who since July 13th have been rising to meet an unprecedented and hyperdynamic threat environment. Ryan Roth did not return fire when the agent fired at him. Instead, he ran and rushed away driving north on I-95. A citizen helped law enforcement, seeing him run, use their phone to take a picture of the man, his vehicle, his license plate. And since his arrest, he has not spoken with agents, instead asking for an attorney.